Hey guys, this is Joana Saira with another message about one of the subjects I hear from students uh, from my private online courses, from the workshops I teach around the world. It's a very recurrent question or, or challenge and it has to do with musicality and how to use the music for dance. So let me start by saying that dancing is much more than knowing vocabulary. Okay, knowing steps and movements and choreographies is part of the technique for Egyptian dance, but it's not what makes you a good dancer or it's not enough to make you a good dancer. A dancer is, before anything else, somebody who can listen. So before you even consider vocabulary and the knowledge of styles and the knowledge of the culture and all that data that surrounds Egyptian dance, it's a lot of things and it's very interesting and important. But before you consider that, listen. This is something I find a challenge for most people, you know, just listen. The ability is to stop and listen to the music and have an original personal input on the way that music affects you. So obviously there are rules to read the music, to interpret the music, okay? You have to know the difference between, let's say, a classical piece and a modern piece, a Saidi piece, Nubian, uh, Baladi, Shaabi, Hawazi. There are so many differences and uh, distinctions between styles that you should know um, starting with the music, but aside from the labels and the styles and everything that can be taught, there is a personal way of receiving and interpreting and allowing the music to affect you that nobody can teach you. You know, I can go through an, an old song and I do that often with my students and break it down phrase by phrase. Yeah, and we study, okay, here you have a little melody, here you have a, a classical part, here you have a little bit of czar, here, yeah, there's so much information I can share with my students when trying to read a song or this mental, um, break it into pieces, digest the song, but there is a part of it which should only be performed by the person dancing. And it is very simple, you know, it's what we call musicality, or part of it. I listen to a certain sound, any sound, and I must have, as a dancer, the ability to decide from an internal point of view, what does this sound mean to me? How does a violin affect me? And what does it move inside? How does tabla affect me? How do I feel it? How does a certain phrase, a certain detail, a certain melody, a certain rhythm affect me? Me, the person, me with my world, with my sensibility, with my experience or my lack of experience, you know, whatever. Uh, me, the person with an internal life that is in relationship with the music. Because being a dancer is co-creating, we co-create, we create something with the music, we have a dialogue which starts to be an internal dialogue with the music and aside from the information we must have about the music, that dialogue should always be personal. You as a dancer or as a teacher must train yourself to have an original, personal, uh, individual perspective on each music that you work on. This is very important, how you listen, how you feel it, independently of the knowledge that surrounds each musical piece and it should surround. So have the guts, have the confidence to do it, even if you make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. And obviously, the more information you have about music, the less mistakes you will do, okay? But this education of your sensibility, the education of your personal perspective, that's very important to read the music, to catch the music, to interpret the music. And that is an essential part of the job of an oriental dancer. Don't forget that. I see people all around crazy with movement and memorizing choreographies and trying to copy this and that dancer. It really doesn't do the trick, man. 
you have to go the long way, the, the challenging way, which is you go through inside, you go through yourself and you find your own way of feeling, reading and interpreting the music, aside from the information you gather from exterior sources. Just try it, okay? I'm not saying anything new, I'm saying stuff that I've learned along the way in Egypt, you know, in my work around the world, uh, from my own experience, from my own intuition. Mm, so I'm not really inventing anything new, but it is a fact that these things that I'm uh, approaching, they're at least not trendy. I don't see them anywhere, you know. Uh, Oriental dance is going towards a very, very strange direction in many ways. So I hope you understand the message and uh, you apply it, okay? Uh, have the guts to listen and to bring out what that experience, what that listening process um, brings from within. Bring it out, you know, have your personal uh, view on the music. Um, have the, the courage to be yourself and to listen from your own ears, from your own world, from your own sensibility, from your own heart. Nobody does it like you, because nobody is you. I repeat this till oblivion, okay? And enjoy. Big, big kiss. Mwah.